Happy Wednesday, everybody. Welcome to Wake Up Charlotte to Go. I'm Ben, he's Chris, Sarah, Larry, the whole crew right here. Uh, and unfortunately, we're talking about something that's a little sad because mm -hmm. it was just a couple of months ago uh, we had our Clear the Shelters initiative and, and it was very successful by all accounts. Multiple shelters in our area are taking part. People adopted lots of animals. And here we are two months later, yeah. And they are back to square one. Back to square one. Overflowing. Uh, yeah. They need. What did they say? They have forty dogs, or they need forty Something. kennels open. We've got it all right here, right now. CMPD Animal Care and Control is what we're talking about right now. Um, they say they are in desperation mode. So the shelter has been taking to Facebook. They did this yesterday, pleading with the public to adopt or give a staycation to at least ten dogs. Now they say multiple dogs are sharing kennels, and they simply have no space. But thankfully, you all answered the call yesterday. However, CMPD Animal Care and Control says uh, they got those 10 dogs moved out, but they're not out of the woods. They say they got 17 kennels opened up yesterday, but that's still not enough for the 40 dogs that are waiting for kennels right now. So we're having to make upsetting choices with some of these dogs right now. Um, we're looking at who's been here a long time, who may have some behavior challenges, and they are on a questionable path right now to possible euthanasia. We need you to come, even if you can just staycation or you can foster. So appointments are not needed. They are open from 11 a.m. today to 7 p.m. So you can just stop by. And, you know, I even saw on um, their Facebook page because they posted some of the dogs that are up for adoption. And they said, you can take these dog home, uh, dogs home for a staycation yep. and see how they get along with your family, oh, your bad. other pets. Mm -hmm. um, and then you can decide if, if you want to make that there forever. That's part of the trick, though, because when you bring that dog home, if it works out, it's going to be very yes. tough. But listen, but listen, like even if you know you don't want to adopt a dog right now, mm -hmm. but you can Give a foster, yeah. like that, there's it's nothing awesome. wrong with that because it mm -hmm. gives them a temporary yeah. reprieve um, to where, yeah. where they can sort of get a better handle on the situation. You know, we've been doing the station for 34 years, what's called the Tuesday Tailwagger. Oh. And in those 34 years, I've never seen a situation this critical wow. in animal care control. We have this many animals out there. We think that some have to be euthanized. The staff out there, we have to give uh, accolades to them for the great things that they do because they deal with so many situations with all these animals and then having to, knowing that some of these animals will have to be euthanized because of, so you heard uh, maybe there's a behavior problem, maybe there's a sickness, but if you adopt one, that opens a cage up for another. Although I've never heard, this is the first time they've ever had to multiple, put, yeah. Yeah. sometimes yeah. up to three dogs in one cage. Yeah. It's so sad. Yeah. So we've been asking you guys all morning long, um, did you adopt a pet? We want to hear your stories to hopefully inspire other people watching to adopt uh, a pet as well. One of our wonderful viewers sending us uh, these pictures. They adopted their mini schnauzer, Evie, from the Charlotte SBCA six years ago when they returned to school and work after COVID shut down. They wanted to give Evie a friend and they ended up with two more rescue pups, Taz and Shadow. And take a look. This is Levi and Daisy. They are 15 and 16 mm -hmm. years old. Their owner says they were both rescued and now have complete run of the house, as they, they should. <laughs> and, uh, hey, take a look at Freckles. We love Freckles. I, I gave uh, Freckles a follow on Instagram. His owner says he's a very special tripod rescue. You can follow him on Insta, Freckles the Tripod. And mm -hmm. folks, continue to send us those rescue stories because we're going to be talking about them all day today on uh, WCNC Charlotte. Uh, Jesse, kudos to you. She says she's going to be uh, uh, checking them out today. That's good, awesome. Good, good. Yeah. That's right. That's what we want to hear. Uh, Joy, I've, I've adopted from Salisbury. Uh, and Melissa, we adopted my daughter's cat seven years ago. Um, you know, one thing I think we need to remind everybody, it's so important to spay and neuter. That's, that's what I was yeah, going to say. One of the yep. major problems in this country is the fact that there are so many of those animals out there that aren't spayed or neutered, and so it just increases the pet population, it, cats and dogs. Yeah. Yeah. It's what Bob Barker said for decades yes. on the air every single day, but it's true because the thing is, okay, you say CMPD Animal Care and Control, here's more money, build more kennels. Okay, great, more kennels. We'll, we'll have more of them. Well, until we actually address the larger concern, yeah. it's like sort of when they talk about adding more lanes on 77. Yeah. Like, yeah. At some point, yeah. we can't have 30 lanes. Like, at some point, we have to <laughs> yes. address, like, the larger issues of, of mobilizing people around the city of Charlotte. It's no different than this. We, we can build more kennels and 
Sure, that, that can be a thing. But and, and there are low-cost spay and neuter clinics yes. to go to because sometimes it can be an ex expensive proposition, but there are a number of the animal agencies, the you know, Humane Society of Charlotte is one of those that, that have op uh, options for low-cost spay and neutering, but we've got to address that situation. And a lot of the ones that they post that are up for adoption, you know, they've taken care of that for you. Yeah. Oh, yeah, they do. Yeah, 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 yeah. They have to be spayed and neutered before, before yeah. they, they leave. Uh, but when, when we were out there volunteering, there yeah. were people coming for appointments that had scheduled yes. to get their their. Absolutely. Pet sp yeah. spayed or neutered. At this point, you just need uh, just try to even like you said, just for a couple of days, yeah. anything you can. You because have two rescues. I have two yeah. rescues. Both of them are pit bulls, and I'm always going to stand the stance before I have them because being in the news, you, you always hear about pit bulls, uh, the things uh, bad things about yeah. them. Mm -hmm. I've never had dogs cuddled this much in my entire life. So I have Romeo and Juliet. Uh, Juliet came from a shelter in New York. And then Romeo was a street dog. We found him. His paws were falling off. Aww. It was a, a really hot June in 2019. Uh, so we took him in trying to find his owner. He had no microchip. And we were going to bring him to the shelter, but instead... He's been there for three years. Um, and <laughs> awesome. also, the, the greatest thing is he also gets along, loves JT, because, of course, you're okay. not sure how things are going to work out. I, Kim just sent me a picture yesterday that he just wants to be around the baby. And I, I'm bringing up pit bulls because if you look at that video, sure. it, it's, it's, not, it's not doodles. It's not in totally chihuahuas. Yeah. It's a lot of pit bulls. It's, it's all, that all goes back to the owner, those who own Yes, animals. exactly. There's so many situations with these animals, like the, the American Stafford Terrier, that are taken to use for fighting and things mm -hmm. like that. But oh, and if you, if you the love the animal, they give you the love back. All so animals, sweet. doesn't matter what the breed is, there are all breeds out there in animal care control and all the agencies. Every single one of these in every county is overpopulated and need our help today. So. If we could play uh, Sarah McLaughlin right now, I oh think that yeah. we just clear, yeah. clear it out right now. Do well, it, does, it yeah. does break your heart when you yeah, walk when you walk up and down these aisles. At no, the and you see, and the, just shelter. the tails wag. They're so excited just to get your love. Oh my god! And then obviously, once you ad you adopt responsible ownership and realize this is a member of the family, it's like having a kid. Yeah, they yeah, do, they, do, so they have to have a lot of attention, a lot of care, but they give so much back. And so we've been asking you guys, you know, to send your rescue stories. But if you're watching this today, um, like, who, who was the viewer Jessie. down here that said, Jesse, she was going to go and check them out. If you decide to go out there today and give a staycation to a pet or foster or adopt, we want to hear because we yes. want to give you a shout out on the news. So text your photos, text your story, 704-329-3600. Of course, we want to thank you for helping out CMPD Animal Care and Control. Yeah, because it's uh, and the thing is, we know this is going to be a chronic problem and, and, and we'll help them now. And then they're going to need help again in a few months. Yeah. And yeah. it's just an ongoing issue until uh, we, we, we deal with bigger problems. All right, folks, continue to weigh in. Let us know. Um, and we hope to see you back here tomorrow morning for another edition of Wake Up Charlotte to Go.